So I'm really, I'm really happy, excited, humbled to be able to actually be here with you guys. Every movement, every organization has a founding story, right? And so I'm going to be a little vulnerable and tell you about my life journey and how we started this whole thing. So I've been living overseas for about 15 years. First, serving as a, an infantry and a force recon marine in combat, and then running an organization called Nuru International that was doing development work in gray zones to help you know, eradicate extreme poverty, help stop the spread of groups like ISIS and Al-Qaeda. So I was invited back to the States to participate in a program called the Presidential Leadership Scholars Program. I remember coming home for this, and I was shocked by what I saw. Like, guys, I did not recognize the country that I left to fight for in 2000. There was this like fear on everybody's faces, this harmful device, and this people fighting. I got really sad, you know? All of us had been downrange fighting for the idea of America, only to come home and realize it, it wasn't gonna be ISIS or Al-Qaeda that beat us, it was gonna be us. And then I got really angry. I thought to myself, I am not about to let my buddies who paid the ultimate sacrifice go in vain to watch ourselves tear us apart here at home. So that moved me. I, I had to do something here at home. It didn't matter how much great work we're doing downrange. If the light of American democracy goes out, what's it all for? We got to heal our communities all over the country. We as a nation, we are a government of, by, and for the people. And then in July of 2020, I stood up this new entity called More Perfect Union. And the More Perfect Union movement started with what we call a brickyard breakfast. It was a gathering of 80 leaders in Atlanta that came together with the vision of helping to heal the country. We believe that we have to get Americans physically together in the same place, breaking bread together, have, having tough conversations together, getting our hands dirty together. And by doing that, we can find not just common ground, but higher ground. I, I believe we're a people of hope as Americans, right? Hope, is, hope defines us. My hope for this organization is that one day, in every small town all over this country, there's a more perfect union brickyard that is doing good things for the community. We want a nation that has come back together to remember what the idea of America means. Join us, join More Perfect Union. Let's create a better country for our kids and our grandkids.